want or you want to miss that on the salat. But I can see, alhamdulillah, everybody's prepared today, mashallah. Someone be praying soon. It is an initial. Altogether, it's 12 takbirat. So counting the takbir ihram, first rakat is going to be eight, and after that is going to be five. After that, we will have a very short khutbah, one part, maybe five. Wait for the video to start just right now. Watch it today. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. اللهم لك الحمد عدد خلقه ورضى نفسه وزنة عرشه ومداد كلماته وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم دعانا إلى الهدى وحضرنا من الرضاء اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على محمد وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد يا إخوة أخوات الأعياد أعيام طاعة الله وعباده Dear Muslim brothers and sisters this day today from the holidays of the Muslims from the Eid it is a day of ta'a of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is still a day of worship and it is a day naam, of happiness it is a joyous occasion for the Muslims and the reason why we rejoice and we are very happy and joyful on this day is because this is the day where Allah Azza wa Jal that He is pleased with the believing slaves of Allah Azza wa Jal whether they be from the male believing slaves or from the female believing slaves we are especially joyous on this day because this is a time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows, bestows on us from His bounty rahma which you need to get into the paradise. And Maghfira, which is the Goya, and which is the goal of the two pillars of Al-Islam, meaning Siyam wal Hajj. And we do Siyam, we fast, and we do our Hajj for the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fa'id al-Fitr ba'da al-Fariratil Siyam. And the Eid al-Fitr, this joyous day on the first of Shawwal, it comes after completing a rukin of our religion. Can you imagine? There is only one time, one month, 29 to 30 days, that you can complete this pillar of the religion, this pillar of fasting. Not like fasting other, any other time. But during this Zaman, fasting is obligatory. And this is the only time that you can complete this pillar of the religion during the month of Ramadan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He allowed us to live the Ramadan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after that He allowed us, well, alhamdulillah, to complete and finish Ramadan. And this is the asr, and this is the reason that we are joyful on this day. And it is legislated for us. Wa ta'atu ar-Rahman. And we did it out of the obedience of Al Rahman, which is one of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Walida Yaqulu alayhi salatu wa salam. And has not your Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has he not told you? In a hadith that is recorded from Sahih Bukhari and Muslim. Lisyan, Lisayim, now Lisayim farahatan. Yafrahuhuma ida aftara fariha. Naam wa ida lafiya rabbahu fariha bi sawmi. So the believer will have two times. Two times when he is ex extremely happy. The time that he breaks his fast like we were every night. And we took that day and we took that one. We're extremely happy like we are today. Because today it marks that we have completed the pillar. We have completed our fast. And the next one will be when we meet with Allah who has the wajah. From the benefits of fasting, Ya Ibadullah. Al-Yawm. Yawm Eid. 
الأيام يوم العيد يوم التزاور ويوم التراحم ويوم التعاطف والحب هذا الله it is a day of تزاور is a day of visiting is a day of gathering this is why this is why for the Muslim to work on this day shows the imbalance because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you that you do these things that you visit one another and that you have mercy with one another with ta'atuf with ta'atuf and that we connect with each other now with hope and have love mutual love of the Muslims نفعل ذلك طاعة طاعة لله And we do this out of the obedience of Allah. We visit one another. This is not just a party. We like to visit one another. We like to do these things. We like to eat. We like to be kind with one another. But this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. Especially during this zaman. This zaman. This specific time of today. Allah azza wa jal. He is pleased with that. That we visit one another, that we have mercy with one another, with the atuf, and that we connect with one another, wal hub, and that the believers that they love one another, the true love of one another. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in the hadith of Qudsi that has been recorded from the Hakim and the Mustadrak of Ahmed. Wajjatu muhabbati lil mutahabi. Allah Azza wa Jal, He says Himself, وَجَبْتُ مُحَبَّتِي لِلْمُتَحَابِينَ فِي وَالْمُتَجَالِسِينَ فِي Now, وَمُتَزَاوِرِينَ فِي Allah Azza wa Jal, He says that His heart, His love is obligatory. His love is obligatory upon the fallen people of the believers. Those who have love with one another. And those who gather with one another. Now, and those that visit one another. This is from our religion. To visit one another. To have connection with one another. And to love, most importantly, one another. The Prophet وسلم, said, Man kana yu'minu billahi wa yawm al-akhir fal yasil rahimahu. It's from your messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that whomsoever believes in Allah in the last day, let him establish, let him keep firm the family ties. And we know the sin of breaking off the family ties. It is from our religion, Ya Ibadullah. And this is an encouragement of keeping the family ties together. وَمَنْ كَانَ now وَبِرُ وَالِدَيْنِ And servitude to the parents. This is not something that we just do out of ada, out of habit, out of custom, this is actually worship. And it's important for us to realize this day that when we do this, it's worship. And this is why we should not go back to work. And this is the reason why we have this type of celebration. And if you have good connection of the family ties and you serve it to your, you have service to your parents, this increases the risk for you as it has been Mentioned, and this increases your life. This is with your family. And it gives you barakah in your life. So, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as He mentions in this noble hadith, a hadith al Qudsi, Allah says, So, if you want a way to earn the love from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let us be from the mutahabin, those who love one another. If we truly love one another, truly one another, one another, meaning all of the Muslims, not just a certain section of the Muslims, not just a certain part of the Muslims, but all of the Muslims, then we will have their aid all together. As we know, it is the Sunnah. And those of the elders know that 20 years ago, 25 years ago, it was a big issue to have the Eid that wasn't together. Where the Muslims weren't all together. And it's more, and it's more practical and it's more closer to the Sunnah that we have the Eid outside when the weather permits. And it's more practical and it's more in accordance with the Sunnah that we all come together each and every masjid closed down. 
And we all pray together like we did in the onset. And it shows the strength of the Muslims. When you see all of the Muslims of one locality all together. This is from Al-Mutahabin. From being with all of the Muslims all together. At the same time. In the same place. All of the community. Now. This is true brotherhood and this is true sisterhood. And be aware of the dangers of Asabiyah. And we gave the khutbah here today, knowing that the Ikni Community Center, the Jamia, the big mosque, knowing that they was going to pray there, we had it here for a convenience for the people who couldn't make it. But for the people that could make it, it would have been better for you to pray there with all of the Muslims. This is true love of the Muslims. We tolerate people from our Kabila, from our family. We tolerate people. They may not dress properly. They may have some Islamic issues, but we tolerate them because they're our family. And we know that the religion has more right over blood. And the Muslims are not to be disunited. So you to know for sure, Ya Ibad Allah, it would have been better for you. It would have been better for Master Isa that they shut down, and that we all go there and pray together. And, then it is, and if it is open, it's only out of a service. Not ikhtar, not a choice. Because if it is a choice, I only want to pray in Masjid Bilal. Mumkin rubbama hada asabiyah. Maybe it is that we think this is asabiyah. Or maybe it is that we think that we are better. Maybe it is that we think we are, huh? More pious, may Allah protect us. We'll call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in closing, Ya Ibad Allah. Ya Ibad Allah, wa ma ta'fa'alu bi khayrin ya'lamu Allah. Allah Azza wa Jal, He says that whatever you do from good, ya'lamu Allah, showing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Allah Khabir and Allah Ali. And we worship Allah from His names and His characteristics of Him knowing all, encompassing all knowledge. And this is the base and the general principle of all worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever we do to gain ourselves close to Allah, whatever we do from ta'a to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is from this premise. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya'ala humullah, he is al-Ali, he is al-Khabir. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Una yatadhammanu ghayatul hath. In this, whatever you do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> is all-knowing. This is the encouragement for every type of worship of khair that we do. And from staying away from every type of prohibition is because we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he knows. And this is also taqwa, ya ibadullah. This is also taqwa. Allah azza wa ta'ala says, And he says increasement is good. He says, so increase, and this is the command. With the zawlam, with the zawwadu, so increase. For in the khayrul zad, but when he says increase, azad taqwa. This is the increase. The increase of taqwa. So while your heart is soft, ya ibadullah wa amatullah, brothers and sisters, while your heart is soft, don't allow yourselves decrease after the increase. Increase yourselves in good. Increase yourself in dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost. Increase yourself in the righteous actions. Increase yourself and decorate yourself with the noble character. Increase yourself with the true love of your brothers and your sisters without holding any malice, while feeling any kibber, while feeling now any pride. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik Ashadu an la ilaha ila ant Wa astabhuluka wa atubu ilayk Taqabhul Allahu minna wa minkum Min a'amalukum kullu Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Can you give him water? To the chef, the person who talks No, 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 no Somebody has a forerunner, I think the brother needs to get out. I have a lot of children. So we wanted to give some extra time because we didn't want 
and it went to miss that on the solar. But I can see how many everybody's prepared today, mashallah. So we'll be praying soon. It is an initial, altogether it's 12 takbirat. So counting the takbir ihram, first rakat is going to be eight, and after that is going to be five. After that, we will have a very short khutbah, one part, maybe five, qasr, five, seven minutes, tops, inshallah ta'ala. Those who have to go to work, I, I can't imagine anyone going to work on eight day, unless you have your own shop. I mean, but um, even if you have your own shop, as we explained, inshallah ta'ala, this is the day of farah and zirah and uh, and visiting. So inshallah ta'ala, for those who have to go, please, before you do your greetings, salutations, please do it outside of the musalla, inshallah ta'ala, and keep it quiet so we can give our short talk. So, uh, it's the inshallah. Say, well, Allah Azza wa Jal, that he is pleased with the believing slaves of Allah Azzawajal, whether they be from the male believing slaves or from the female believing slaves, and we are especially joyous on this day because this is a time when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bestows, bestows on us from His bounty, rahma, which you need to get into the paradise, and maghfira, which is the goya and which is the goal of the two pillars of Al-Islam, meaning Siyam wal Hajj. And we do Siyam and we fast. Allah, 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 Allah,
اليوم عيد رمضان وزمن الصلاة هنا في مسجد بلال والآن نحن هرسلنا الصلاة today is the Ramadan in United States read like the last day of the Ramadan and we are here waiting for the pray for the Eid and stay a little bit and everybody come we pray and we finish that and alhamdulillah we finish this one and it's a eat to everybody so i just show you how the muslim in the united states um everywhere like the islam is not forget they do their uh wajib like their thing must be done for allah sake of allah so today is going to be the end of Ramadan. Uh, let us read. I take you to the prayer inside. Here is the masjid. Glad. And here is people coming for the prayer. That Park Street across by Pound Street. It's part on the street and uh, here is the masjid the masjid is called Bilal and I take you inside be careful with the step this is a nice mojo Masjid. 